In this video, I'm going to show a y-intersection created in Softree's location module of RoadEng. We've got a road on a steep side hill. It's actually starting at a steep uphill grade and then turning over and going downhill. And if you look in the 3D window, you can see we've got a, a very steep side hill here. And um, what I want to do is create another road. Let me just display it which branches from the current road and continues on up the slope at a, a again a fairly steep grade. So the problem is that in the area of the intersection and I've widened up the road here. I used overrides to do that. I could have used a template. Uh, anyway you can see that the cross section here starts at the regular road width and then as I go into the intersection zone I've increased the road width on the left hand side ready for my branching road to continue and I'm cutting lots of material I mean there's a there's a huge amount of cut here um, and that's ready for my new road now here's the problem um, in version 9 certainly 8 uh, you can't see that in the designed road you cannot see this is road number two the top road you you can't see evidence of the bottom road and we need it we need that um, information we can kind of see it by looking at the slope stakes in the background here um, we know there's been some cut in this zone how do we see it here's the trick First of all, there's multiple places now in the software, we're working with version 10 here, uh, where you can add reference surfaces. We need to add a corridor surface and we want a surface that represents the bottom road, the road I'm designing first. It's at the top of the list on my Project Explorer. Uh, we'll use the final merge surface, but it could, well, could either be final merged or subgrade. I, I'll, I'll show subgrade here because the uh, the center line for my template is sitting on subgrade. So let's do that. Give it a color that's distinct and a description if you desire. Here's the important part. Merge into topo surface. When I check that box, the surface created from bottom road is calculated and merged into topo. And now if I recalculate all alignments, and that's what this checkbox here is for, that surface has been added to um, the calculation for top road. So now let's recalculate that. Oh, I'm not seeing anything. Whoops, now I remember why. The section window needs to display that new surface. So section options, turn on reference surfaces, and make sure the new surface we created from bottom road is included. And there it is. You can see the bottom road cross section in blue in the top road cross section. And you can also see that there's no cut here. This is just sitting on top of the existing um, roadway and there's no cut, no fill. And as I step through my alignment, uh, that looks funny. Um, we, <laughs> it's at the transition here that it gets a bit weird. But once we're past that transition, you can see that we're now into uh, cutting the um, excess material. So bottom road, cut this blue line and top road is cutting some more and here's an interesting spot um, we've got to not fill down onto the blue road so if I were to have my cross section a little bit further over I'm just going to do that in the um, section editor horizontal alignment yeah I can do that and if I move that over a little bit, oh, that's a mistake. So I need to move my top road to always be in full bench 
so that it doesn't spill down onto the bottom road and full bench with respect to this cut line not with the original ground. So that's about all I need to say. Uh, it took a while to get these alignments in the right spot but with this feedback it was not too difficult and you can always see both roads in your cross section even when they're quite far apart as we move whoops as we move along the alignment um, you know here's where they diverge uh, top road is now completely independent from bottom road but bottom road is still in the cross section if I make it big enough so I can see them both we can do the same in the profile window the profile window also has options to display reference surfaces and I've got the same bottom road reference surface displayed in there so that I can see that that blue line cutting up there that's what the ground really looks like in my profile and here's where I need to match it because in fact it should be kind of something like that right that's that's my new road sitting right on top of the old road and when I look at a cross section in there you can see they are indeed coincident now let's take a look at the 3D window and see what those surfaces look like there. Okay, so there's my 3D. You can see the uh, surface from quite a distance. Uh, if I zoom in a little bit, we can see the uh, reference surface that I created for road number one, the bottom road. Now I'm going to add one for the top road. Before we access the terrains and surfaces from the options dialog box, you can also access from the section window options and even the 3D window options um, terrains and surfaces. So I don't see the surface I want. Click on add. We want another corridor surface. This time we want it to be top road and again I'm going to use the subgrade material to be consistent and I need a different color to make it distinct. Uh, that should be all I need to do there. And now we can choose uh, the color for each of these for display. They're all displaying some triangles. That's perfect. Let's see what it looks like. So there it is. Now all of these are transparent so we can see through them. Um, might be a little more clear if I took out the topo. And there's the two roads. And if you notice as I rotate through here that actually the top road is cutting the bank back some more so we're looking through the bottom road cut to see the top road. And all these surfaces can be exported. Uh, we have export for uh, Land XML and we also have export directly for each corridor. So there's corridor surface export and there's land XML, which can also include quarter surfaces. Thanks, that's all I wanted to say about reference surfaces and displaying one road in the cross-section profile 3D of another road. <laughs>